Goal setting with students is an integral component in the successful use of MAP. Having the students understand their RIT scores and helping them to set attainable goals will help with students buying into the assessment process. Episode 1 of this two-part series on goal setting will take you through the steps of setting goals with K-6 through grade students. You will see how Niobrara teacher Jennifer Pritchett conducts a goal setting session with a 6th grade student. Her protocol will work with K-6 through students. The goal sheet she uses can be downloaded from the virtual training library page on the ESU One website. Jennifer will use a five-step process as she helps her students set goals for the next MAP assessment. The steps are share the goal setting process with the student, review previous RIT scores with the student, assist the student in setting goals for RIT scores, identify areas for improvement and areas of strengths, establish strategies for improving performance. This five-step process is used in setting goals for all tested areas. Remember when we took the maps test in the winter, mm -hmm. right after Christmas? All right, we did goal setting right before Christmas. And you did really well on improving a lot of your, your scores. So what I wanted to go over with you today is um, what your scores were from fall testing to winter testing and how much you improved. Um, and then set some goals for next year when we start doing the max test again. Okay. We're also going to look over some of the little key concepts that are in reading and the key concepts that are in math. That way you know what your strong points are and you know what your weaknesses are. So during class um, you can start working on some of your weaknesses and know what they are so you can maybe work a little bit harder at those. Okay? Alright, the first one we're going to look at is math. And on your math score you tested in the fall as a 213. Okay, so you did pretty well there. And in the winter, you bumped up to a 218. So you tested the at a 40 at the 40th percentile. So like 40% of all the other sixth graders in the nation got a 218. Right? So you did very, very well there. I'd like to see you do a little bit more, work a little bit harder. The typical growth for someone your age, if you take all the sixth graders in the United States that got a 218, all of those sixth graders typically grow about eight points the next time they take it. Okay, so if you grow eight points, it's going to make you a 221 next fall. Sound good? Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and put my math goal for the year is put to go from a 218 to a 221. Alright, now some of the things that you um, maybe struggled a little bit with uh, when going over your math test was the data analysis and probability. Did you have any of those questions where it was like if you pulled, if you had marbles in a hat um, and you pulled out three marbles, how many, if you had ten marbles in a hat and you pulled out three marbles, how many of them would be blue? Did you have any of those questions? Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are kind of hard, okay. Probably didn't do so well on those because you don't usually cover probability until you get in the seventh and eighth grade classes. So that might be why. But next year, when you get into your seventh, your seventh grade classes, be sure that you know that that's where your weakness was, so you can work a little bit harder at it. Okay. Um, the one that you had the easiest time with was your algebra. You know, what is x? What is y? Do you like doing algebra? Yeah. Yeah. Those are kind of fun to figure out. They're kind of like puzzles. So you did very, very well at that. What are, some, what are some things that you can do to work on your goal, to work up to that 221 this next year? Study harder for tests. Okay, study harder for tests. And what else? Did you eat good that morning? Do you remember? How about, um, got a good 
good night's sleep? No more than Not really? Okay, so I'm gonna put that down. Get a good night's sleep. Okay, was there anything else that you wanted to put down? Maybe something about probability? Yeah. Maybe focus on probability in seventh grade, but look for probability in seventh grade. By using a goal setting process with MAP, you help to ensure student awareness and ownership in their academic achievement. For further information regarding NWEA MAP testing, contact your local ESU representative. Thank you.